Hi, so I saw a lot of you guys like the other Goat Simulator video I did, so I decided to update the game a little bit, and I will showcase the improvements now. But before I do that, I just want to mention that um, if I reach 1,000 subscribers uh, uh, in the next year, I will update this game a lot, add new maps, more content, and I'll publish it so anyone with a PS4, PS5, and the uh, game making platform Dreams can play it for free if they want to. Um, and I just decided to do that because I, I really want to reach that milestone by the end of the year and I think this is a good way of um, getting so many people to do it. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to sound mean. Um, but yeah, I'll showcase this stuff now. So this is the same location from before. I'll showcase some new ones in a little bit, but I think this is a good place to showcase some abilities. So first of all, I'm so you can actually use the L stick on my uh, or on a controller to uh, scroll up or down, which is just you know a little extra touch. So let's scroll down to the first new goat, which is Warp Goat. So I tried to make a mix of my own goat mixed with um <laughs> half a goat from uh, Goat Space. I just thought it looked cool, so I decided to make a little hybrid. So uh, whenever you use the POW button, triangle. Uh, this goat shoots a little orb, and when the orb touches the surface, you'll teleport to it. You can see that there. I don't know why he kind of teleports up for a second, I'm not sure on that, but let me go outside and show you that. It's very glitchy, but, you know, it's Goat Simulator, I can do that. You see that. Um, <laughs> you often get teleported into walls, um, but it's very fun, you see that. Boom. It's really fun to use. It can teleport you across any distances. Okay, so I'll move on to the next one when my character- okay, great. Let's go with pixelated. So this one just makes the screen pixelated in case you want like a old game vibe. This is a very small one. Um, next we have Sugar Go, which is one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> I I love that um, sugar you can find in that one home in Goat City Bay. It's cocaine. And I thought I should make a whole goat where you have that ability because it was very fun. So I used some filters and as you can see you go way faster when you have the sun. You can just zoom by places, um, and it's very fun to get around with. Um, it is a little bit disorienting, though. Okay, next go <laughs> is Milky Way. So I couldn't actually make the cow goat from Goat Simulator Race of Space, because that's a lot of effort, and I don't like effort. But I did give it that ability from that game. I should probably update the model and maybe make it like white and black, but let me show you what happens. If I click the POW button, you start <laughs> getting uh, beamed up, and every object starts floating in the nearby area, and it's so fun to make things just fall downwards. I, I love this ability so much, it's one of my favorites. Um, next, let's do Second Dimension. So this is a very odd one. Uh, if you ever played like a 2D platformer game, I tried to add- uh oh, fell through the game, sorry. I tried to give it that type of look and feel, so let me get to it real quick, sorry about that. Yeah, so this goat makes everything 2D. It basically makes the camera um, only be able to move in that direction, and the goat moves accordingly, so I can only move uh, left to right. But it is really fun. Uh, <laughs> everything is so like perfect and mathematical, it gives a really nice look, um, but you can't do much. It's still fun. Um, yeah, you can't get down the elevators, but yeah, I thought this was a cool little thing to add. Next is, a uh, Big Ol' Guy. So, Big Ol' Guy is probably the most glitchy character in the game. It just, like, doubles your size, but whenever you do an animation, it shrinks. <laughs> so it doesn't work too well, and animations glitch it out too. It's, it's very wonky, uh, but, you know, but, like, making a Big Ol' Guy, so I did that. Um, next we have Spotlight. Uh, so this just adds like a spotlight above you, and I think it just creates a nice little effect. It's not like a big overarching thing, it's just a nice like little thing to add that I think can be fun to walk around with. Um, next is Rocky Goat. So this is my own creation. Oh, glitching out again. Alright, give me a second here, I can fix this. Okay, so Rocky Goat looks rocky of course, but when you click the POW button, uh, he creates an earthquake. And everything just starts getting blown around in every which way, uh, <laughs> and you can stop it, and everything falls. Uh, I love abilities where you just manipulate the environment on a big scale like that, so I, you know, decided to include this. I think it's really fun. Um, and the last one is Blobby Goat. Uh, oh, 
Here we go, Blobby Goat. So this is a very simple one. It makes you shiny and pink, and it makes it so you slide. You slide everywhere. Yeah, you just slide. <laughs> Only attribute of this goat. I just thought that'd be a fun idea, so we have a sliding one. You see that. Um, okay, so now, before we get into the new maps, I made a list of all mashups I thought were interesting to showcase. So I'll do that. There's only a few, so don't worry. You can skip this section if you'd like. So first we have Tornado Goat and Goat Queen. So let me reset and let's see what that looks like. I kind of forgot. Oh, okay, I remember this. So this <laughs> is the two goats, uh, goats with skulls on their face mixing together, and it creates a very interesting effect. Watch this. I'm going to spawn some goats, and uh, <laughs> you can just have a goat army just start forming on you uh, of just limp dead animals in your tornado, which is really fun. You can see that. It's starting to lag the game. <laughs> it's very fun to do. Um, next we have Angel Goat, Robo Goat, and Milky Way Goat. So let's see what this one looks like. Let's get Robo Goat and Milky Way. So I think that- oh yeah! So what this does is it makes this Angel Goat's ability to kind of levitate with Robo Goat's um, extra density and Milky Way's extra push up in the air to basically make you um, stay, what's the word, uh, still in the air. Like you still float up slightly, but for the most part you just uh, kind of levitate above everything, which can be very useful in some sections of the game, I assume. <laughs> and so, yeah, I think that's a cool thing to showcase here, we kind of just stay, because RoboGo is super dense. Next we have Angel Go and Spotlight, so I remember this one. This is a really fun one. Let me turn off RoboGo. Angel Go already has that kind of, um, I guess, angelic appearance, but with the Spotlight, it just makes it even more apparent, and you can, like, start floating. You know, I could take some really fun screenshots with this, where you're kind of floating up, and I think the Spotlight adds a nice effect to that. And we have two more. Next one is Sugar Goat and Blueby Goat. Oh yeah, so <laughs> Blueby Goat makes it so you just are constantly sliding. So you're basically on hard mode because uh, you're going so fast at the same time. Also, I think I put this on the list because um, Blueby Goat mixes uh, really well because it's pink. It mixes well with like the filter and everything. Oh, I'm just going everywhere. I can't even tell where I am at this point. Um, <laughs> I'm just sliding. Okay, I'm on road again. Let's see. You can see it's very tough to control, uh, but I thought that was just a little fun. Oh, Angel Goat's still on. Oops, that's fine. Um, next one, last one is Pixelated Goat, Second Dimension, and Double Jump. So this will give you the ultimate old game experience. So let's turn off Angel Goat, put Double Jump on, go down a little bit, we just need Pixelated and 2D. So this really just feels like an old game at this point with the whole Double Jump and everything. I just thought this would be a little fun thing to include. Uh, let me turn on a second dimension so I can get inside the building real quick. I know it. I know it's a dumb. It's a dumb goat. I just they're all dumb. It's a fun idea, but you can see it in action here. Um, yeah, that's uh, that last mashup. So now I will showcase the two new maps I've added. Oh wait, before I do that, I found out how to use some goats before that I didn't understand because it's been so long, but I've delved into the code and I think I understand them a little bit better. So let me show you, um, the first goat that I didn't really understand was I am, er, uh, I am Toaster. Before, I didn't really know how to activate the Toaster part, but I understand now. You have to lick something. Uh, shoot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut this. So you have to lick something, and then once you're licking it, you can put the bun to make toast appear. I don't know why you have to lick something first, that's a dumb thing I added. But yeah, that's how you make the toast spawn. Um, maybe it's unfinished. And then, uh, we also have... What's it called? Oh, uh, Italian Dinosaur Goat. So you- I forgot, you have to lick something as well to get the, uh, explosion to happen, to get the watermelon. With the whole- you remember this. Wait for it? Yeah! It explodes, causing a little bit of, like, some shrapnel, um, 
So yeah, you can lick any object and then click the POW button, and it will cause it to become a watermelon. And this works for any object that you can lick, I believe. And then they'll explode after a few seconds. Yeah. Uh, is that all of them? I, yeah, yeah, those were the only two ones I didn't understand. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> One more. Builder Goat. So I didn't understand how to switch what, um... I didn't understand how to switch what block you're using, but now I do. So this is the normal grass block, but if you click the POW button, it will switch to a different one. And so you can alternate between them this way. So if you have any interest in building a Minecraft house, uh, you can do it with this one, I apparently. Okay, let's get to the maps now. Okay, so this is the first map, and just to preface, most of these assets are not mine. I just compiled them. Like, this mall I did not make, but I uh, made a lot of adjustments to it for it to work with this game. Um, and add some stuff. So, let me show you it now. <laughs> I thought it'd be really fun. I, I wish it had people. My game just can't handle that type of stuff. But, um, I thought a mall would be a really fun location for a goat to visit, so I decided to, um, make it work. There's a lot of objects you can manipulate, such as these, like, benches and stuff that you can, you know, throw around. But mainly it's just for the fun of just exploring a mall as a goat. You can go up these, um, what are these called? You know these. You've seen them before. Elevators? No. Those can't be elevators. I don't know, whatever they are. There's a bunch of different locations you can explore. Um, and this place is especially fun if you're using, like, uh, insane goat, like sugar goat, just just like destroying this mall, going as quick as possible can be really fun. But there's a lot of different locations. Uh, what's this place? I can't read it. Oh, it's a pizza place. Oh, I love this place. There's so many objects you can just ram your head through. Uh, it's just so fun to cause chaos here. And using like a goat, like um, oh, broke the game. Using a goat like uh, Milky Way goat can be super fun here. Let me bring him up. Let's see, Milky Way, here we go, okay. Let me go over there. I'll just stay outside and watch it happen. Yeah, <laughs> everything just hitting the sky and then boom, falling down. It's very fun. Um, yeah, so this is the mall location. There's not a lot to it, but I think it's, you know, fun nonetheless. Uh, but the next one's where I put the most effort in. The next location is uh, a space colony. It's not like the space colony in... Go to Simulator Waste of Space, because I'm not going to recreate all that. And this is a very simplified version. Obviously, like I mentioned before, if uh, I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm definitely going to improve all of this, add as much stuff as I can in that time. But uh, this is a pretty simple space colony. I've added asteroids everywhere that have zero G so you can like float on them. And it, this is a giant location, like genuinely, there's so much you can explore here. It's, it's pretty empty. But it's very big. Um, there's so much to explore here. Um, let me use a goat. Like, let's let's turn on a lot of goats. Oh, I love using jetpack goat for this place. Let me turn them on. I get. It. There we go. You can just you can just rock it out of here, and you will not leave the map for the most part. Like, there is enough stuff that you can stay in here for a while. And also, there's low um, low gravity here. Uh, obviously, Space Colony. I felt like that was appropriate. And there's these, like, towers here that you can climb on. There's nothing to do. Like, it'd be really fun to add trophies and stuff. I just haven't done that yet. But let me get over there. I'll try. Jetpacko is so hard to control. Because he's almost fully random. Let's see. Can I surf across the roof? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, almost got it. Almost got it. Well, I had it for a second. But you can see there's all this area over here to explore. We saw for a second there. Come on. Am I doing it? Nope, I'm not. Okay, wrong direction. You see the gist of how it's supposed to work. There's some really fun goats for this area, like, uh, Milky Way goat fits in pretty well. Pixelated feels pretty nice. Let's try Milky Way, see how it looks. You can see all the asteroids in the distance, they just start levitating all at once. And then they don't stop, they just keep going. Um, what other goats are fun for here? Warp Goat to get around. Oh, he's so good for this place. Yeah, watch this. In a second, it's just gonna hit the wall. Wait for it. Yeah, <laughs> you can travel really quickly with Warp Goat here. And he fits in too. He's got a nice space look to him. Um, but there are other ones too that I really like. I mean, Robo Goat's fun. So you can just smash yourself into the floor. I like doing that when I get too high. 
Oh, Second Dimension's incredible because of all the different levels of like stuff. When you walk around as two, uh, in two dimensions, you can see all the different things moving in the background at different paces, and it feels really nice. I know it's glitching out, but you see what I'm talking about. Like, things close up, they start moving quicker, and things far away, it takes a lot longer. It just, it's really beautiful to watch. Um, and I think those are the most fun goats to play as, but um, there's some other fun ones in the mention, like, the check your goat's really nice. Uh, <laughs> wait for what's about to happen in, like, 10 seconds or five? Yeah, here we go. I love using this go in any location. It's always so fun. Uh, what else we have? Spider goat's good for running around. Classy goat. I haven't even tried him here yet. He must be good, right? Yeah. Oh, this is really fun. Oh, you can like surf around. Oh, this is cool. I do like this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fun goats to explore with. So, um... Yeah, I think that's going to be the video. I will probably add locations in the future. Uh, definitely, again, if you guys subscribe to me, please. But this is the first update I've made to this game, and it'll probably be um, the last update for a little bit, because I have to work on my Ben 10 game, obviously. This is mo mostly just like a fun little side project in the meantime. But it's still very fun to work on, and if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. Um, I'm going to work on my Ben 10 stuff and editing other videos now. Uh, bye.